I'm John Laspina, your carnivore teacher, and today we're going to talk about the proper human diet. That phrase was coined by Dr. Ken Berry. Go to his page, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't know who he is, whew, he's fantastic. I learned so much from him and I use that phrase in everybody now in my carnivore space, keto and ketovore space, use the term, the proper human diet. Thank you, Dr. Ken Berry, for not copywriting that. <laughs> the proper human diet is the carnivore way of eating or it's the ketovore or keto way of eating. It's basically whole, real foods that have as close to one ingredient as possible. I'm a carnivore, so I eat beef, all kinds of beef. I eat lamb, I eat buffalo, bison, deer, venison, or anything else I can find that is a ruminant animal, because that's king. Beef, ruminant animal meat is king, it's the best. And if you can get grass fed and grass finished, it's the best of the best. I can't find that all the time, so I get grain finished. It's still the best. Then I eat pork. I have some bacon, some bacon fat. I don't eat that much pork. I have some poultry. I eat chicken wings, chicken thighs. The breast, eh, I mix the breast up with tons of my own bacon mayonnaise that I make so I can fatten it up. I don't have pheasant. I haven't had duck in a long time, but I love duck. I'm going to do a shout out to my friend Rick in Miami. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. Duck and uh, duck eggs are outstanding. I do get to eat those because my local fresh market sometimes carries those big suckers and they're so meaty and delicious. And the, the yolks are orangey. Hen eggs, I buy pasture raised hen eggs. I wish I had chickens. I wish I had a farm. I'd be having my own fish. Smash fish. Smash is an acronym for the healthiest fish. Smash, salmon, mackerel, anchovies, sardines, and herring. They're the small, small, small fish. Those fish swim around, they're really tiny, and they eat algae. They eat the plankton. They eat things, and they have no mercury in them, no heavy metal toxins, because what are they eating? They're eating the little tiny bits of plants. Now, if you eat a large, well, salmon doesn't, but, but when you eat larger fish, larger fish are carnivore and they eat smaller fish that eat smaller fish that eat smaller fish and any mercury that's in the fish multiplies in the larger fish. So if you have swordfish or redfin tuna, you're eating a lot of mercury, very toxic. I would never do that. I stay away from all of that if possible. I love sashimi tuna, but I try to stay away from it. I really do. So fish of all kinds, but the smaller, the better. The crustaceans are amazing. I love my shrimp. I love lobster when I can afford it. Clams. These are the bivalves, clams, mussels, oysters, even snails, escargot, yum. I love them. So there's so much that we can eat on this wonderful way of eating that's meant for our human body, and it's the proper human diet. Get as much fat that comes from the animal, eat it with the meat. Try to ask your butcher a knock on the window at your grocery store and say, can I have the extra fat that you cut off? Can you cut me some ribeyes, but leave all the fat on? Because they trim off all this excess fat and throw it away. You want that fat and you want to learn to not be fat phobic, you want to learn to eat the fat with the meat. Our body needs it. Fatty fish has DHA and EPA, which is so amazing omega-3 for our body, for our brain. Pasture-raised eggs as well, omega-3 fatty acids. So that's the proper human diet. The proper human diet is not cereal. The proper human diet is not pastries, waffles, pancakes, Pop-Tarts, mac and cheese, TV dinners, anything with the paragraph or a list from a box or a package, that is not the proper human diet. That's the proper crappy diet. I'll come up with another phrase to discuss the toxic diet. They call it the standard American diet or the standard world diet is not the proper human diet. The proper human diet is what we humans 
have been eating since the beginning of time, all the way up until around 1880 when the Industrial Revolution kicked in. And when that kicked in, it became easier to transport things from all over the world, transport foods. It became easier to, uh, because of electricity and refrigeration, we were able to preserve foods and keep foods. And then uh, chemicals and factories and processes, this all came in. The big food companies took over and added preservatives and additives and colorings and flavorings to enhance the colors and preserve it on the shelf. And then seed oils were a byproduct it's a machine lubricant. What are we going to do with the leftover cotton seeds? All these cotton seeds left over from the cotton, and we removed it with the cotton gin. What do we do? Well, let's crush them using high heat and take out the oil, and we'll lubricate our machinery with it. Oh, we can also sell it as a food for people. We can fry food in it for people. That's what you're doing when you eat canola oil, soybean oil, safflower oil, cottonseed oil, rice bran oil margarine, Crisco, it's machine lubricant. It initiates inappropriate inflammation in the body because the body does not recognize it as a healthy animal fat. We are an animal. We're supposed to eat animal fat, not machine lubricant. Carnivore or ketovore is the proper human diet. I choose to go carnivore because I feel even better without the plants. You choose. Try something. If you've never tried keto, ketovore, or carnivore, what do you have to lose? Especially if you've got something that you want to take care of, some problem with your health. This way of eating is magical in the human body. It really is. Eat well the proper human diet so that you can look and feel well and become the optimized version of yourself. Have a great day.